Now let's launch our Janome Customizer 10,000 software and explore the Easy GigaHoop. The Easy GigaHoop lets us make designs to sew in the GigaHoop. When we first launch the GigaHoop portion of the program, we are given a template of the actual GigaHoop area. The GigaHoop is actually two B hoops that are slightly overlapped in the center but you only need to do one hooping to stitch out both sides of the design. You've already learned quite a bit from Easy Edit, so this works in much the same way, so this will be an easy lesson. Let's use our Import Daisy to bring in designs. Let's go to our Customizer 10,000 Plus folder, which is found under Program Files, Genomi, Customizer 10,000 Plus, go to our Easy Edit Designs, Border and Corner. Let's choose a corner design and open. Let's drag the design to the far corner and choose Edit, Corner Layout. This would be a good time for you to try this. Okay, now let's explore some lettering options. Let's access our monogram button. And let's type in Janome. Let's use the straight line orientation and click register. Let's drag the handles. That lettering is just a little bit too big. Let's try reducing it to a 24 point size. That's a bit better. Now let's choose OK. We don't need to save the current lettering design. And let's drag it right in the center. We are told we need to move this design left or right. The reason is we cannot cross two lines at once. Our embroidery machine can only reach from one edge of the giga hoop slightly past the center, and then when we turn the hoop around, it can stitch out the other side from one edge to slightly in the center. It cannot cross over these two lines. So I have some choices. I can fit my lettering just in one side or the other, or I can split my lettering up. What I've learned from here is I can, I can fit J-A-N-O or J-A-N, but not the entire lettering. So I'm going to go to my monogram feature with the word Janome still highlighted, click on ABC, and this time, we're just going to use the letters J-A-N and register. This time, let's use the free layout, J-A-N, and we'll click OK. No on saving the current design. Let's click off of J-A-N, click on the monogram feature, and again, we'll do the other parts of the letter, O M E. Register. OK. No on saving the current design. And we fit the lettering in the center of the Giga Hoop. Now let's see what happens in Print Preview. File. Print Preview. The first part of the design is going to be stitched out here. That's the right hand side of your giga hoop with the north arrow pointing towards that current clamp. The other side will stitch out, but it'll appear upside down on your screen. The north arrow will point towards the clamp after you have turned your hoop around, and that will give you the complete design. You can print out this template for a full scale Now we can send the design directly to the ATA card or directly to our machine if it's connected. 
we'll choose the ATA card, a file folder, and give it a name. And choose right. Now let's take a look at the options on our toolbar and the toolbar buttons so that we can be acquainted with everything the program does. File, New, starts a new GigaHoop project. Open is to open an existing GigaHoop project. Save is to save a GigaHoop project. Save As is to save a GigaHoop project with a new name. Import Design allows you to bring in individual .gif designs or .so designs in your layout. Monogram accesses the monogram feature. You can print the GigaHoop template, preview the GigaHoop template, or set up print options for your GigaHoop template. You can choose what brand of thread you want your color to correspond to. And this bottom part here is simply the last few files that I had been working on. Edit, we can rotate and flip the selected design. Rotate at 90 degree increments. Access corner layout features. Notice we don't have center layout features because we can't really put something in the center of the hoop unless it fits within the two lines. We can undo the last thing we did, delete a selected design, copy a selected design, paste the copied design. If we have a 1001, we can send the design directly to it if it's currently hooked up with a USB cable. We can access designs, receive, and delete from our memory craft and the ATA card if it's in your sewing machine. We can write designs to the ATA card if they're installed on the computer. Write designs, read, and erase brings up your double utility window to send designs back and forth from your computer to your ATA card. View options, you can change your background color to see what your design will look like against a different fabric background. You can zoom in and out, turn on or off your toolbar options, and access the Help menu. For toolbar buttons, New for a new page, New GigaHoop Project. Open will open an existing GigaHoop file. Save is to save your GigaHoop file. The Import Daisy is to bring in individual .gif or .so designs. ABC button is for your monogram feature. We have our Copy button, our Paste button, our Rotate in 90 degree increments, Flip vertically, Flip horizontally, our Undo button, we can delete the selected design, we can print a template, this is our shortcut to send designs, send the current design to our machine, this is the shortcut to write the current design to our ATA card, and the magnifier has our zoom, op our zoom options. On the status bar down here, it shows we're looking at 100% view, we're in a color template, and the Janome is the brand that's currently selected as the thread color chart. From here, I would recommend you start a shiny new page and begin importing and browsing designs on your computer to create your own GigaHoop layout.